feeling blessed, never stressed. Got the sunshine on my Sunday bed. Hey everyone, it's your girl Malia, and today I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you all some tips on starting a successful YouTube channel, and I'm going to be exposing the truth and telling you all what nobody will tell you when you're starting a YouTube channel in how to be successful. If I look down, I have like five pages of notes down here, so I'm sorry about that, but I should stop rambling. Um, don't forget to become a Malianator by clicking the subscribe button, turning on your notifications, and giving this video a thumbs up. And comment down below that you did it, and I will definitely give your comment a heart, so that's enough rambling, let's get on to the video. So, the first thing I want to talk about is starting strong. There are three questions you want to ask yourself when you're starting a channel that will help you determine what type of videos you're gonna make and who you're talking to when you're making your videos. So, the first thing you wanna ask yourself is, why am I starting a channel? Are you starting a channel to inform people of something, to share your opinion, to share your advice, or something else? Think about that and it will help you determine what type of videos you want to make. You also want to ask yourself, what type of content will I make? Is it lifestyle? Is it beauty? Is it gaming? Is it several of those? Is it something that I didn't name? I don't know, but determine what type of content you want to make. That way you will have some video ideas. Who is your audience? You want to determine who you're gonna be talking to when you're looking at the camera. And trust me, it will make it a lot easier to film your videos once you know who you're talking to. So the next thing I wanna talk about is your channel vibe slash channel theme. So your channel vibe is kind of like your first impression. So when people first click on your channel, this is what they see. This is part of the reason that they subscribe or don't subscribe, so you've gotta make it good. And you're probably like, Malia, how do I do it? How do I make it good? What do I do? Well, you want to have a thumbnail theme and you want to ask yourself, what colors do I want to keep consistent on my channel? I personally really like to use blue and pink and white a lot on my channel. Those are just colors that I like a lot and I try to use them consistently and I think it makes my channel look a lot better in my thumbnails. You also want to ask yourself, what is your vibe? Um, are you going for a dark and dull theme? Are you going for a bright and colorful theme? Are you going for a minimal and white theme? Or something else? What are you going for? You want to think of that and it will help you leave a good impression on whoever's going to or not going to subscribe to you. So the next thing I want to talk about is a bit of a longer subject just because there's a lot to talk about and it is equipment. You're probably wondering what do I buy? Where do I buy it? Why should I buy it? And you're probably wondering, is a camera better than an iPhone? Can I use an iPhone? Can I use a camera? What do I do? Yes, iPhones can be used for filming and editing. Yes, camera quality and laptop editors are better and more expensive. There are two routes and you get to choose which one you want to go with. The first route is the iPhone route. So this option is cheaper, but lower quality. Quality is still decent, but it depends on the iPhone model. And of course, camera quality will always be better than iPhone quality. Editing, I'm just gonna be honest, it's way easier. It is so self-explanatory. You don't have to look up many tutorials to figure out what to do. And there's a lot of free apps out there that you can use. Um, but the one disadvantage is that there is less that you can do. You have more creativity on a laptop, but you can still do quite a bit with some free editors or you can pay for them if you want to. But a couple free ones that I personally like are iMovie, Pocket Video, VLLO, CuteCut, Video Shop, and there are tons more out there that I'm sure you can find. But there are also a couple things that you can buy to enhance your video quality. And those are an iPhone camera lens and an iPhone ring light. Personally, I have an iPhone ring light and an iPhone camera lens, but I do not use either for my videos. I mostly use them for um, TikToks and Instagram photos because I have glasses. So with the ring light, it makes a glare. So I personally did not choose to do that. I just edit the lighting um, through editing. 
and iPhone camera lenses I do have but I use those for Instagram photos um, but you can definitely use them on your videos as well if you want to make them better quality make them wider um, have them be at a different perspective whatever you want there are so many different camera lenses for almost anything. So the second route is the camera route and it is more expensive, but better quality. Better quality filming, more settings and options, better audio. Laptops for editing, I'm just gonna be honest, it's way harder. You're probably gonna end up looking up tons of tutorials. I tried to um, edit on a laptop once. It didn't go well. I couldn't even get my footage uploaded onto there and it definitely takes a lot longer. So you might have to do some research if you're planning on doing it that way, unless you're just a genius at editing. But there are more options for editing, such as text, filters, and more. There are good but expensive editors like Final Cut Pro X and more, but there are also free editors such as iMovie and Filmora Wondershare. There are a couple things that you can buy to enhance your quality with this route, and those are the ring light slash lighting kit and a microphone. You're probably like Malia, you already talked about a ring light. There is a like giant ring light and then one you clip onto your phone, and there's also lighting kits, like box lighting kits. If you want to improve your lighting without having to edit it, you could buy something like that. And you can also buy yourself a microphone to improve your audio quality. You can film on your camera and edit on your iPhone if you choose to. I have friends who do that, so just keep that in mind when you're picking a route. So the next thing I want to talk about is likes and views. Don't be obsessed with numbers. The number of likes and dislikes doesn't make you any better or worse. They only tell you if people enjoy your videos or not. Think of the dislikes as a good thing. Honestly, they're just feedback that you can use to make your videos even better. Same with views, all that matters is that 10, 100, 50, 1,000, 1 million, however many people watched your video, they watched it and they hopefully got something out of it and that is all that matters. The next thing I wanna talk about is monetization. How do I get subscribers? How do I get watch time? How do I get monetized? The requirements for monetization are 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Sounds easy, right? Nope. I'm going to be honest here, it is not. I'm not even monetized. You see people with millions of subscribers who are monetized and hear that you only have to get 1,000, which is a fraction of that, but gaining subscribers isn't hard, but it also isn't easy. What's even harder is watch time. What is watch time? What are watch hours? A watch hour is issued every time someone or multiple people watch your videos for one hour. Sounds easy, right? Well, now try getting 4,000 of them. Watch hours don't only get monetization, but views and subscribers too, which is part of the reason that they are important. Like I said before, views and subscribers aren't everything, but they do really help you to grow your channel. So how do I get watch hours? A couple methods of getting watch hours are to keep people watching your videos for as long as possible. Give people a reason to keep watching, such as details for a giveaway, a huge announcement, or how to get a shout out. At the end of the video, you could say any of those things, or if you have another idea, just something that will motivate people to watch your video all the way through. Of course, you run the risk of them skipping to the very end, but they may not and they may stay for the whole video. The next thing is to make your videos interesting by adding cool music slash sound effects, cool pop-ups, and text, and more. The next thing you can do is to premiere your videos and engage and talk to your audience. How does monetization work? What do you do once you get monetized? Well, personally, I'm not monetized, but I did a little bit of research, and this is what I was able to gather. Once you meet the requirements for monetization, you'll go into review by YouTube to be monetized. For some, it takes a week. For some, it takes a month. For some, it takes months. For some, it takes years. It really just depends, and you just have to be patient and make the best out of the wait. Once you're monetized, you will get ads on your videos, and you will get paid based on how many people watch the ads for however long. I don't know quite what the requirements are for that, but um, 
Once you get monetized, you'll find out. The next question you're probably asking, how do I get subscribers? You've probably heard of sub for sub, buying subscribers, and think that doing those things is an easy way to grow your channel. But by doing those things, you're actually running the risk of YouTube flagging you as spam, YouTube deleting your channel, losing subscribers, and people finding out and questioning you. Instead of cheating the system and risking the future of your channel, try these ways. The first method is engaging with other small YouTubers. Like and comment on their videos. One commented compliment equals one new friend or subscriber. The second method is to cross promote. Share your videos on other social media platforms if you are allowed to, such as Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, all the other social medias. Any social media that you can promote your YouTube videos on, do it. The third method is having your notifications on and commenting. What do I mean by this? Well, you've probably noticed those high key and low key self promo comments when watching your favorite YouTuber and thought, wow, that's annoying, but believe it or not, it actually gets you tons of subscribers if you do it right. I've had friends who have gained hundreds of subscribers per day by doing this method. How do you do it? Well, you turn on the notifications of big YouTubers and your favorite YouTubers and click immediately when you get a notification for their upload. Comment something relatable, relevant, or funny. Like your own comment. Then go edit the comment if you want and say like, by the way, I'm a small YouTuber or I appreciate any support on my channel. Something like that. Just do it low key and subtly. Um, of course, you run the risk of having people comment back, um, kind of snapping at you for the low key or high key self promo, but it works. So who cares in the end? The next thing I want to talk about is making money on YouTube. Yes, monetization makes you money. But what I'm about to tell you often makes people more money than monetization. If you're only doing YouTube for the money, click off of this video right now. But if you're just looking to make a job out of something you love, this part of the video is for you. I actually have a video on this next part, which I will leave in the description below and hopefully in the i box above. So you can check that out after you're done with this one. But it is working with brands and there are two ways that you can get paid using your social media platforms and those are being an affiliate and doing a sponsorship. I'm sure there are other ways out there, but these are the two most common ones. Being an affiliate, what does that mean? How do I do it? Being an affiliate, you get a discount code and every time somebody uses your code or every multiple times, however many times the brand says that you, that you agree to, um, they will pay you a certain amount of money or you might get a free product and get paid. It really depends on the brand. So the next way I'm gonna talk about is sponsorships. Brands send you a negotiated slash said amount of money. Um, you can negotiate with a brand so you don't get ripped off and they don't get ripped off, um, but you will get paid whatever amount they agree to. And often you get a product to promote also in exchange for a social media post or multiple posts and or a review. So, so basically a brand will send me um, a certain amount of money and a product, I will promote their product in whichever way they want me to and then I get to keep the product and the money. There are many apps and websites you can use to help you do these things such as Famebit, Collaborate, Aspire IQ and more. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is are you camera shy? Are you afraid of being bullied? How to deal with these things? Are you afraid of messing up? It's okay, most people with a YouTube channel are shy, at least starting out, and some people throughout their whole YouTube journey. If you're really worried about messing up, just edit parts out or refilm it. Being bullied and getting hate is frustrating. You will get hate eventually, it may come in the beginning of your YouTube channel, it may come in the middle, it may come at the end. It depends, um, but you will um, get hate eventually and your friends will find out about your channel and your family will find out about your channel. I'm just gonna be honest, people are gonna know, people are gonna hate on you, but you just have to accept the haters and know that they don't define you and they don't determine your success, which is the next thing and last thing that I want to talk about. 
this video is called how to start a successful YouTube channel, things that no one tells you, or something along those lines. Haven't really decided yet, but you get to determine your own success. Success for you could be 10 subscribers. Success for you could be a million subscribers. Success for you could be $10. Success for you could be $100. You get to determine your own success. These are just some tips to help you get started. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to become a Malianator. And until next time, don't forget to inspire.